You may remember a video that we had recently posted on this channel where we visited a hoarder's house. Well, we are coming back to it today to see what it looks like after it's been fully renovated. Today, I'm bringing with me Diane. Diane, are you excited to see this place? I am. I, I know it's gonna be a lot different than the first time. In fact, her reaction was great. You can watch it here quickly. Hold on, just let me just... <laughs> I can't. You. Guys, this is exciting. Oh no. Oh my God, you guys, seriously. Diane, do you think that's gonna happen again today? No. <laughs> I hope not. No. I hope not. So we're seeing it for the very first time. We've actually not been inside it yet. So what you guys are gonna be seeing is our raw reaction. So I'm super excited. Why don't we go and take a look at it right now? I'm excited. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Brrrr. Ready? Well, oh. right off the bat, the smell is thousand times better. Well, right wow. in the first video, I talk about how the door was pretty beat up and you can see obviously that's been repaired. Wow, you gotta get the camera in here. Jordan, Jordan's behind the camera. The you gotta camera. see this. Wow, this is incredible. <laughs> Holy smokes. Wow. Let's find lights. Look yeah. at, it's look great. at this. Okay, you gotta come see this over here. First of all, when we were in here last time, Diane, we made go to the bathroom <laughs> I didn't even see that and I was about back. To the first time. She didn't even know there was a kitchen in here last time. Yeah. And you got to see this kitchen. Look at this. Before, you couldn't actually walk into this kitchen. When I talked to the owners during the, uh, the open house, they had barricaded off the kitchen. That way their dogs couldn't get in and they used it to just literally dump garbage. If you've got those clips, make sure you show them those clips. It's fantastic. We got Paul in the room here. Paul, what, what kind of countertop do we got here? Quartz. Quartz countertop, tons of storage. I didn't even realize how big this kitchen no, was because I couldn't get into it last I did one time. of these the first time. And you gagged. I did. Well, there was stuff in there that was from years prior. How's the smell? I know that was your concern. It was. <laughs> it is gone. It was a smell before that I cannot describe. This place seems so big now. But it's the washroom that was my biggest hurdle. Well, let's go take a look at the washroom. Wow. An empty tub. Remember last night? Yeah. It had garbage and Q-tips and hairspray bottles. And Doritos and everything else Doritos. in there. Doritos. It did have Doritos. It had Doritos. Yeah, it was wow. pretty disgusting. This is incredible. Like I can touch the walls on this one. The first time I didn't want anything to touch. This is like my worst nightmare. Did my hair touch that wall? Oh, I feel so bad for these humans. Now, when we were in this primary bedroom last time. It was just cement. Wasn't it? Well, it was just down to the cement. Yeah, but what had happened too, was it was so full of stuff, especially that kitchen. They put a mini fridge and turned yeah. this closet into, into their, their kitchen. kitchen. And so you could see like their cereal boxes. You could see everything else. It was just, the, the, it was ranked. Oh my God, look yeah, at this. Isn't that nice? That is so cool. It's like, it's like a, a fan, <laughs> right? Yeah. How do you even turn it on? There's several functions by on off. Oh. Oh. Whoa. When you're in bed, you just want to clap on, clap off. Remember those things? And again, like I didn't even, I didn't even know there was a closet in this bedroom last time. No, I didn't know. I didn't know there was a patio. Oh yeah, I, I knew there was a patio, that. but I didn't get into the patio before last time. Huge laundry room. I love it. So okay. this is a three bedroom, one bath townhouse over in Saturna Drive. And it's, it, you, it's ready for someone to come in and rent this thing. Like it is stunning now. So this is beautiful. Now, when the owner originally bought it, it was actually a strata foreclosure. So what that means is that in a strata building, if you're behind on any sort of levies, fees, anything like that, the strata always gets paid first. They get paid in front of the bank, they get paid in front of everyone. So eventually if they're not getting their money, well, they're gonna come after you and they're gonna force a court ordered sale. So that's what actually happened in this case. And this is what I really wanna highlight too, is the fact that, you know, investors out there, they do a good thing because these types of properties would have been condemned, right? You know, if, if word got out there, this was unlivable. Now, as you can see with the hard work that Paul and his wife put into this property, it is an absolutely livable property, bringing back another amazing rental unit onto the market. So kudos to you on this yes. one. This was absolutely fantastic. I knew it was gonna be good. Well, we've seen his work before, yes. but this was an undertaking yeah. to say the least. <laughs> this was an undertaking. Yeah. yeah, 
Absolutely. So that's that's basically our raw reaction yes. coming in for the very first time. As you can see how blown away we are by this place because you've seen the videos, you've seen it. Go back and check out that original full video if you like, we'll link it somewhere up here in the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You guys can go ahead and hit that like button, throw some comments. What do you think about this rental? What do you think about that before and after? And of course, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon so you get notified for future videos. Thanks Diane for Thank joining you. me again. Thanks, I know Paul. it was traumatizing last time it you was. were here. So much different this time. Absolutely. Yeah. And thanks for watching guys. We really appreciate it.